Yar, har, har. Welcome to another video, me bacos. Today I'm going to be discussing my 25 favorite external RuneLite plugins. These do not come with vanilla RuneLite and need to be installed in the plugin hub at the bottom of the plugins tab. These didn't quite make it to the official release build, but there are a ton of gems in these external plugins that I use on a constant basis. There is a use at your own risk warning for these plugins, as they aren't necessarily going to be upkept and may cause instability in the client should the developer abandon the plugin. But the plugins I will be discussing have all been working great for over a year. I also won't be discussing the custom game modes added by external plugins, as I don't use them. There are some very cool plugins like Bronze Man Mode or Region Locker. My personal favorite is Inventory Scrabble. Definitely check that one out. I also won't be discussing plugins used in content I haven't experienced. There are tons of raids and volcanic mine plugins that I just haven't messed around with. But if you do enjoy that content, I would highly recommend checking them out. These aren't listed in a specific order. I use all of these plugins and certain plugins might be more or less useful to any given player. The spec regen timer is something that should be a part of the main rune light build. It simply adds a timer to your spec orb on the minimap. This is extremely useful for bossing and slayer, allowing you to get a spec in the instant it regenerates. It doesn't add any extra clutter to the UI, and there's really no reason not to be using this plugin. The Chompy plugin is extremely helpful for hunting chompies. It not only adds an outline around chompies that fly in, it also adds a 60 second timer overlay over each chompy. Chompies fly away after 60 seconds exactly, so this timer can really help in prioritizing which chompies to take down. This isn't one you'll use every day, but if you hit up chompies at any point, this plugin is a huge help. Banked Experience is a very cool utility plugin. First, you have to visit a bank in your current play session in order to let it populate with the resources in your bank. You choose a buyable skill. The plugin then shows how much XP you have banked for the skill total. You can click on any individual resource to see how much XP you could get from that single resource. For example, if we look at the prayer plugin, I bought 2757 Wyvern Bones and have various other bones in my bank. I know from the plugin I can hit level 95 from all the bones in my bank, and we'll get 1.38 million XP from just the Wyvern Bones. This plugin would be extremely useful on an Iron Man setup. If you were just curious if you could get to a specific level with the resources you have, or even on a main for confirming you bought the correct amount of resources to get the job done. The Inventory Setups plugin is basically the Bank Tag Tab plugin that doesn't clutter your bank and is also easier to set up. You simply gear up and fill your inventory for a project you do. In this case, I'm creating a setup for Alchemical Hydra. I simply equip my gear and fill my inventory correctly, and then in the side panel, hit the little green plus icon. I name it accordingly, at which point the plugin saves my whole setup. If you hit the little I while in the bank, it will show the exact items you have in your setup. If you enable filtering using the lines in the tab, if you're missing anything, it will highlight that item in red on the side. This is extremely helpful for things like Slayer, where you have a ton of slightly different setups and don't want to make a tag tab for each one. Skills progress bars are really useful for gauging what skills are close to a level. It simply puts color-coded bars on your skills in the skill tab. No bar shows up if the skill is at 99, which can help count how many 99s you are up to. You have a handful of settings you can adjust, like the transparency of the bars and the size. I believe it comes with a default size of 3 pixels, but I changed this to 1 to reduce the clutter a bit. Flipping Utilities adds a side panel button that, after performing a basic margin check, buying and then selling an item. This shows you the profit each and the potential profit for the buy limit of the item you just checked. It also tracks total profit in the statistics tab, allowing you to sort by time span and sort the individual flips you filled by most profit, most recent, highest quality, etc. This is an incredibly useful plugin for any merchant. The herb sack price calculator is a really simple one. It tells you the values of the herbs in your herb sack when you check the contents. There's really not a lot to say with this plugin. This is another plugin that is so simple and useful that it really should be in the Runelite main build, but isn't. Unfortunately, there isn't an equivalent for the gem and coal bags. Hopefully someone makes these in the future. Runelite tray notifications allows Runelite to generate a custom box notification on the monitor of your choice. This is much more versatile than the terrible Windows tray notifications, which you can simply block after installing this plugin. As a side note, if you turn on custom sound notifications in the RuneLite general settings, you can place a sound file named notification.wav in your RuneLite file, and it will use that sound instead of the default. RuneLite uses a shrill, high-pitched notification sound by default. 
that I found really unappealing. So I replaced it with this more quiet bass tone, which you can hear right now. See the download link below if you're looking to replace yours as well. The Equipment Inspector adds a right-click option on every player that allows you to inspect their equipment. This is really useful in the wilderness, as things like rings aren't visible on your player character. It's also nice if you're just wondering what an item is that someone is wearing. The Probability Calculator is just a fun calculator to see how lucky or unlucky you have gotten. You plug the drop rate of an item, as well as the amount of kills you have, or will do, then the amount of drops received. We can see here my four drops at Hydra that all had a rate of 1 out of 2,000 that I received by kill count 266. It's such a low chance of happening, the calculator rounds the chance to about 0%. You can have a lot of fun with this one. The player tile plugin allows you to see your tile position relative to the RuneScape server. This is really, really helpful for bossing, where your exact tile position is very important to know. Things like Wooks walking at Vorkath, or the majority of the Theater of Blood. It could also be helpful if you live in a location where you're forced to play with high ping or network latency. The Zelra Helper plugin gives an extra side panel that allows you to input what Zelra rotation you are on, at which point it tells you what the next phase will be. This isn't automatic, you're clicking on it to see what the next phase will be. It's basically the same as the Zelra Helper website, this is just in the RuneLight client itself. This would be very useful while learning Zelra rotations. The calculator plugin is as simple as it gets. It just adds a small basic calculator to the sidebar. This can save a bit of time over launching Windows Calculator. I personally use it to separate my RuneScape calculations from other things I'm calculating at the time. The bank value plugin is another handy utility plugin. It reads the items in your bank and then lists them with quantities and value of each item. I can use it here to figure out my most valuable item in my bank is my Dragon Hunter crossbow. And the item I have the highest quantity of, besides coins, is feathers. This would be very helpful for cleaning your bank of junk items. The Essence Pouch plugin honestly should be a part of the RuneCraft plugin in the main build. It simply shows you the amount of essence you have in each pouch, allowing you to easily see whether your pouch have essence in them or not. I cannot begin to tell you how many times I thought I had filled all my pouches and started running to an altar, only to find out one or all of my pouches have no essence. This plugin can save a lot of hassle. Custom Left Click Drop is a very handy plugin for quickly getting rid of items you would never want. You simply type an item into the bar, and a left click option on that item will change to be Drop. I threw things in here like crushed gems, ashes, regular bones. I tend to accidentally pick these up during Slayer tasks, or unidentified minerals from the Mining Guild. The Extended Menu Swapper plugin adds additional menu swapper entries that did not make the cut of the main build. Most of these are useful. The ones that stick out are left click Karamja Gloves to Duradel, and Wilderness Lover changed to teleport to Edgeville instead of Ardoin. Jagex has made a statement that certain menu entry swappers and clients have been bannable, although this plugin specifically has been confirmed to be safe by the RuneLike devs just by existing as an external plugin. The World Hider plugin is a very cool plugin specifically for streamers. It has the ability to hide your world in game on your friends list or clan chat. It can also randomize the world to throw people off your track. This specifically would be most useful in the wilderness, although you could also use it if people were crashing you with bosses or just harassing you in general. Speaking of content creators, there are two incredibly useful plugins for them, the green screen and detached camera plugin. Green screen turns your screen green beside your player character, allowing for some interesting chroma applications. The detached camera plugin literally just prevents the camera from following your character. Unfortunately, there isn't a plugin for emulating the orb of Oculus like in the old dev mode, but you can do quite a bit with just these plugins. The RSN hider does just what it says. It garbles your username in the chat to random characters. This can help if you are taking a screenshot for social media, as social engineers can look through your post history and possibly find hints to your passwords or recovery answers, allowing them to crack right into your account. Now, this has become a bit of a meme at this point, but people do get hacked this way, even to this day. The Ground Markers with Labels plugin acts as a replacement for the original Ground Markers plugin. This will open a text box when you mark a tile, allowing you to place a small text label on the marker. This has quite a few uses, mostly for combat encounters where you have a lot of different Ground Markers that can get kind of confusing. Things like the Inferno or Theater of Blood come to mind. The NPC Idle Timer is incredibly useful, mainly for thieving. It allows you to type in an NPC's name in this bar, 
at which point a 300 second timer will appear over the NPC. This is the maximum amount of time an NPC can stand still before teleporting to their respawn point. This would be very useful for pickpocketing anything within a 1x2 tile area. Master farmers and RD knights specifically come to mind. The NMZ Utilities plugin is a very simple but useful plugin. It simply changes the rock cake's left click to guzzle and allows a separate HP notification above a certain health threshold instead of below. This makes the plugin alert you not only when your overload runs out, but when your health ever raises above one if you are dare rocking. This is very handy for making NMZ even more AFK than it already is. I want to mention the OSRS Wiki Crowdsource plugin. This allows data from your play sessions to be sent to the OSRS Wiki team. They're currently only using this to track burn rates while cooking, probably because not many people are using it currently. Get on it, people. This could be used to determine drop rates of monsters or bosses right after release. Basically anything that has RNG involved. Each person that uses this plugin will make that info just that much more accurate. And that's it for the video. Hopefully some of these plugins help you guys. I personally didn't even know they existed for a long time. Like the video and subscribe, me hearties, or I'll make you walk the plank.